Hello gamers and Mortuary and welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal, Forest Village and the last time we played we kind of expanded this little area here. We uh, started uh, redoing the fisheries and I also added some houses to have some additional people living here. We will have to check if the roads can get up there but I think they should be able to get there. Hold on a sec. Why can't I click on this? Hmm... It's been a while since I have played the game, so I might have to uh, check out a few things. I'm pretty sure I still have some builders. Yeah, that's the problem. I only have one builder, I think. And what's he doing? What is the builder doing? Where is he? Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. Slow down. Carrying food to house. Okay, I have one builder. Not, not a lot, not a lot. But I actually thought I... Ha oh, those are paused. That's why. Uh, let's uh, turn this one on. That way we will get a few more people in our uh, little village or town here. I think these things are working out quite nicely. This one is planting. Oh yeah, I should be cutting some wood as well at some point. I should have a few more. But it's getting hard to see those, actually. I thought I had one up here. Yes, I do. This one is doing both. Yeah, okay. So normally I should be extending this little road. That's something I can do immediately, actually. actually uh, let me check. So let's look from the top. This is the road. Yes, it does reach to the end. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Well, we have some stuff uh, we will be doing today. First of all, expansion. I need more people. I definitely need more people. The problem will be, will be that uh, with more people, I will be needing more food, more uh, things to do, more tools, more whatever. Mm. And I'm not quite sure I have everything I need for that. Oh, yeah. That's my scarecrow. <laughs> The scarecrow is in the way. I might also uh, have to make another one of these, another one of those fisheries at some point. Right now I have uh, four fishes, two in this one, two in this one. And yeah, the fish are not coming in all that fast. Same with meat. I need hunters. I have a few hunters. I have about six of them. They are out in the wild, but uh, I have the impression that uh, meat doesn't get in all that fast. The bakery is up and running, that's a good thing too, but uh, even there the, the, the bread isn't uh, isn't getting produced all that fast. I can get rid of this thing here. There is no need for me to use that. Uh, I will be putting something else here, I have no idea what yet we will see once we get there. Also I have been looking out on the internet to see if, uh, let me check some papers I have printed. I have Excuse me for that. I found a little uh, Life is Feudal first village field and orchard size map. A size chart. And apparently, if I look correctly for... Uh, how should I read this? I think it's 13 by 13 blocks is ideal for a one person uh, field. And then you can go to a, what's it, 18 by 18 by 15, something like that. It's also a nice uh, area for two people. I think I did 24 by 10. Let me check. Yes, something like that. 24 by 10. Yeah, I can't really remember that. But apparently there is a there is a chart showing you uh, how much fields you can have and how many workers will be needed to work on those. And also how many fields they will make. I think that's probably uh, will allow you to know how much your fields will yield. But I can't really understand that. Like for example, there is one which says that a 13 by 13 uh, field is good for one worker and has 123 fields, but I don't really understand what uh, the number of fields or trees in this case is all about. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably the, the, the rate at which you uh, will get the resulting crops. So the house is getting built. I can speed up a little bit now. 
I should have done that earlier. What's this? The carpenter isn't doing a thing. Well, I still have a few stone and wood lying around. Actually, this one, yeah, I was thinking about it. This one should be producing some firewood pretty soon. How about here? That's 1200. That's nice. 1200, that's nice. And this is the wheat crop, which isn't really doing a thing yet. But once this house is ready, we will be able to add some more people uh, to the village. And I'm hoping that uh, that will allow me to have some, uh, some more people working on the fields, maybe. At least it will give me uh, a few spare people to work with. This one hasn't been... Up I can upgrade houses too. Yeah, this one has been upgraded. This one hasn't. So let's wait until this one is almost finished. And then we can upgrade the neighboring house. Well, when it's done, we will be upgrading that. That will give me some more people to work in the villages. Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to let this work for a bit. And uh, I think I will be uh, getting back to you guys once uh, once those houses are built and we can do something else instead. So folks, it's update time. As you can see, I have built another house here and the last house is getting built as well. I did also upgrade those two. And uh, yeah, that allows me to host one more person in that house. So, but with all that expansion, I'm kind of hoping I will have enough food to go through the winter. Um, maybe I should make... Oh, look. I have one baker. Maybe I should make another baker. Maybe that will uh, make sure things get produced a little bit faster. So I should have two bakers. Yes, that's fine. I'm hoping that will get me some more bread. Because, like, bread is 8 calories, fish is 7, meat is... How much? Meat is 8 too. Mm, I think the raw vegetables is only 7, so I'm kind of hoping that they will be consuming the bread and the meat first. Before they start uh, consuming all the raw goods, like like the, the vegetables and, and stuff like that. Something else I have noticed is that, well, in order to build things in this section uh, of my village, they need stone. And apparently all the stone I have is in this warehouse here. Yes. Oh, someone died of old age. That's good. Well, not good, but it's better that they die from old age than from uh, starvation. Okay, but as I was mentioning... I noticed that all my stone is in this warehouse and it does take quite a long time before they can uh, reach this side of the building. Well, this this side of the village with, uh, with the, the stone. So I'm, I'm seriously considering if I shouldn't be placing a uh, stone quarry somewhere in this area too. So people can bring the stone to this uh, warehouse. Let me check where I could find that. Storage resources. And there should be a stone. Stone quarry, this is the ore mine, this is the stone one. Yeah, it isn't all that interesting, 3000 up here maybe. I cannot build here, that's even, even worse. Look, this one is 5000, might be worth it, 5000. And this is 4,002, so I think this might actually be a good spot for a, a stone quarry. Come on, where did I find it? No, that's strange. I can't seem to find it back now. Ah, done. S silly game. Silly game. Okay, anything close? It has to be close to this section of the map because... Otherwise, they will be just bringing it back to the other, other warehouse, and I don't really want that. Okay, 5,000 up here. I have spotted a 5,000. Oh. There it is. Let's do that. Let's make a stone quarry here. Cannot build in this area. Why not? Maybe there is uh, too much stuff in the area? What are you? The clay mine. 
But the clay mine doesn't have any people in it. How am I doing on clay? Clay is getting low. Hay is getting low. And stone and ore is getting reasonably low as well. Uh, I have no more people left. But I can now turn... Oh, break, break. Winter. Winter has arrived. So what I can do now is remove all the farmers again. From the farming lands. And check the clay producer... Give him two or three people. Yeah, let's make that two. Well, three. And I have another mine somewhere in this area, but... Oh, look, there is a mine here. This is a stone quarry. I can add two more people to that. Which means I have one person left, which I should be... Building with, I think. But the question is, what and where? I have 1500 food, vegetables, so I'm hoping that will allow me to uh, get through this winter without too much problems. And if it is starting to cause problems, then we have to uh, find something else. Still have two builders I don't need to. Uh, so I have three people who are unassigned to Apple Guy. I don't need him in the winter. I need more, maybe more bread. Not quite sure if, if I can put three people in there. I probably can't. Yeah. So it makes no sense to have three of those. I can have another, what's this? Lumberjack to make. Yes, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's a good thing to start with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there is a lumberjack. He will be producing stuff in here that's two and i have people in the mines i can add two more in here like that and this is makes primitive tools do i have tools well, let's make some primitive tools in the winter yep and meanwhile we're getting through the winter and i'm kind of hoping that these houses here I should upgrade this, but I don't really want... Nah, it's only one person to add, and I'm risking the fact that these people won't find a house to stay in. And if they don't find a house to stay in, they will die. Mm, not really good. Okay, let's uh, get through the winter, have some stuff getting produced, and we should start to see some expansion pretty soon. I, I think I had uh, 31 people to start with. And... Yeah, I'm hoping to increase that to something a little bit more substantial so I have a few more builders to work with to expand my area. So yeah, let's uh, wait a few minutes, see what happens and then we can continue with, uh, with the building. Okay, we made it through another winter and we still have some spare food so that went pretty well. Uh, now I will have to put my people back onto the farms which means too few Two fewer, two fewer. And I need six on these farms. Oh, child died during birth. That's six. And I need one more guy. Let's put the fisher back and... I have one guy here working at the orchard. <coughs> it's maybe a little bit too early still, but... Uh, yeah. Wouldn't resolve us all. It's about time they go work on the fields. But apparently this time winter lasts a little bit longer. Look, it's already spring. And everything is still frozen. Expansion went pretty well, I think. Uh, we have lots of babies being born or women getting ready to uh, give birth to babies. I think eight more people will be joining our community, our little village, and I'm kind of hoping this will be, um, will allow me to expand in some areas. I don't need, really need this guy anymore. We have enough tools for now. So that's good. We need more timber. Or how is it called again? What's it called? Firewood. I always say timber for some reason. Check the surrounding areas. You see, this is what is always happening up here. He is clearing the area. 
But that makes all the wildlife disappear. <laughs> Maybe I should just destroy this and move it up just a little bit more. I think I'm going to try to do that. But I don't have any builders. I can make you a builder now. And I will be destroying this building and place it in some better location. Come on, where are you? Oh, yeah, here. There you go. Destroy. And I will be placing another forester. But then a little bit further up in this section of the woods. At least that should allow me to uh, to cover more ground with the forester. Because this one had its uh, stuff, its area of effect working for a little bit in the water. It might not be such a good idea. I think we should probably also place a road heading in that direction. Let's see how far we reach. The dirt road is fine. Oh, we could get there? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I have one builder. He will have a lot of work. <laughs> Make some roads. Redo the forester guy. This hunting cabin. I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't be trying to get myself a coop with chicken. I think that will produce some meat and also some eggs. And I noticed that the bakery has some pies you can make, like meat pie. And more interestingly, the vegetable pie. Because I sometimes have a lot of vegetables. Oh, now that I say that, <coughs> I see that it's not the case. I'm going to be running low on food soon. Ish. That's not good. That's definitely not good at all. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens here. This one should get destroyed. This one should get people. Or should get constructed, actually. Um, I could remove one guy from the fisheries, but I don't really want to do that at this moment. Because as you can see, all my fruit is gone, all my vegetables are gone, and I'm pretty low on the rest of the food. So, uh, it's not really going all that well for me. And it will still take a, a while before they can make stuff. A child has grown up and is ready to study. Yes, that's also something we will have to look into at some point. I found something where here, the school. And apparently it should give people education, making them produce faster or better. But I don't think I have... This is the perfect time to do stuff like that. Hmm... Yeah, that should give me access to that guy. And this one should get destroyed. And then maybe later on I can do some terraforming in that area. Or maybe I should just leave it as a forest, actually. Because we need the meat. We need the food. We definitely need the food. Ah, this will be close. It will be a close call. I think I have enough grain or wheat or whatever it is. Yeah, grain I have enough. I have a lot of hides. It's probably from... Let me check this one. This one doesn't have any hides. Oh yeah, it's probably in this one. Yeah, that's a lot of hide. Huh. Uh, let's let's first finish this, and then we can check the the rest of the things. Why is he? Why is he zzz? He doesn't know what to do. 
Nobody should be zzz. Number of idle village. Why is that happening? Hold on. This one has one guy. Yes, perfect. This one has two. This one has two. This one has two. This one has two as well. This one needs food. Oh, this is not going to end well. The lumberjack. Oh, people will die from starvation. Well, this is almost ready. But uh, I think that will mean that we won't have enough food for the next winter, though. And that might be a huge problem. A huge problem. Look, see? People are... Oh, people are gonna starve to death. What do they have in here? Some f firewood? Oh, no. But I don't get it. Look, there is fish in here. There is meat in here. Why don't they take the meat to the house and eat? See, he's bringing the meat to that house. While this house needs meat. What's the green thing? Oats. Look, and they are now bringing the fish to that side? Why? I really don't get it. I need to get one of those guys. Uh, you. Hmm? Carrying food to house? You? Huh? Carrying food to house. See someone is starving to death already. Are they really taking the food from this place to those houses and the food from this place to the houses up there? That's pretty strange. It's very strange, actually. I think this is getting harvested, so that's good. It means probably that we will get some stuff ready. But it's fall already. Oh, this will be a mess. This will not end well. Not at all. I will have to put those guys into the hunting cabins. I think. Yeah, fall. I can't... Mm -hmm. Two people starve to death. That's not good. How many can I have in here? Only two? Yeah. There is no... I will have to collect. They have to collect. Otherwise, I'm gonna have big issues. See, it's gonna get colder. When it's, once it gets too cold, everything will disappear. So I will lose all my production. And that's not good at all. So I need expansion on the food side of things. Definitely when I will have more uh, people in my villages. Why isn't this getting destroyed and this getting built? Because we don't have any materials yet. Yeah, they are probably working on the road. That's probably... So. But why I use... Number of idle villages. Why are they idle? Is the bakery not having enough stuff to produce? Yes, they have. So that should be no problem. This guy, small house... Not doing a thing. I have people working on the firewood. But I have one guy. Two people. Okay. I think I will have to live with that. And I have no idea why. Why they are 
like that now. Can I make them go grab stuff? Let me check. No. Stone? Yeah, stone. Oh yeah, I know. It's the two uh, the two uh, guys from the Forester Slurge that I am trying to build up here. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I will probably have to make this field work next winter, well, next uh, autumn. I will have to add this field to the production cycle because I'm not getting enough food. Oh, come on, build it. Once this is built, the two people who are Idle will have work because they are assigned to the Forester's Lodge. And that's probably why I have the Zizzle people. Hmm. So once that is done, I will have to check out a few other things to get more food production. Maybe next time I should also check into that coop for the chicken. But for now, I think we will just have to wait it out and see. Oh, I see they are losing all that stuff. Come on, collect it. That's like 400. And you too, you didn't collect the thing, man. Oh, everything will be lost soon, look. That's 200, 300. That would be a very sad thing. Come on, build, my friends, build. Late fall, we've lost everything. So that's six guys, seven guys I can put back. Let's have one more builder. Uh, I want more fishers and more hunters. Two hunters. Let's put some fishers in and have the rest work in the mines for now. And once this thing here is built, if I can find it back. They are starting to bring stuff to the building site, so that's good. And once that is done, I will have my two lumber uh, foresters going to that forester's lodge. And I can reduce the number of builders and put a few more into the mines to have stone and ore getting produced. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, how I roll. You see, it's done. One is fine. You go in there. Then I have two people in all kinds of mines. And I think this is probably how we will be ending today's episode. We did some expansion. We have a few more houses on this side. We discovered that we were running out of food pretty fast. So we will have to fix that in one of the upcoming episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. Check out the description. That's also where you will find uh, links to the social media pages, links to the Patreon page, and links to the other crazy folks and creative misses guys as well and while you're on the youtube page feel free to subscribe to the channel not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal but you will also get notified when i post new content to the channel that being said i will be wrapping up today's episode so until next time have fun and stay safe bye